Hey guys, Bryce Smith here from Invictus Fitness, and I'm here to talk to you guys about weight distribution during the snatch. All right, right here are a couple drawings of some awesome feet. Yes, I was an artist in my previous life. Um, and one thing that, that, that we'd like to see during the weight distribution in the snatch, guys, is the weight distributed in the midfoot. All too often, we have the weight either too far forward or too far back, which causes you know misses, obviously, during the Olympic lift. So what we'd like to see is the weight distribution starting a little bit forward, okay? A little bit forward, obviously, in midfoot, not all the way in the toes. And then from there, we'd like to see the weight shift back a little bit, okay? Towards the heel, but not all the way in the heel, okay? And then from there, obviously, once we go through the scoop or that jumping phase, we'd like to see the weight then come a little bit more forward, okay? Let's take a quick little trip over here, and we'll see what that looks like in real time. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna get into my setup for the snatch. Okay, I'm gonna start a little bit forward, driving that toe down into the floor. I'm gonna shift my weight back in that first pull, and then I'm gonna shift a little forward as I go into that scoop phase. Okay, let's sneak right back here real quick. I wanna show you some common faults that we see often in the snatch. Many coaches in the CrossFit community talk about heels, heels, heels. And so we get a lot of athletes that start in the heel. And so if they start in the heel, there's no place to go but forward, okay? So if you're starting way far back, the only thing you can do is go forward. And so that causes you to kind of roll towards that toe and miss that snatch forward, okay? Another common fault that we see is athletes start way far forward, okay, as opposed to that midfoot. And then they shift the weight way back, causing the toes to rise in that first pull of the snatch. And then once again, you see that rolling. Okay, let's take a quick little trip to the barbell so I can demo that rolling for you guys. People get into that setup, they start way back in the heel, and oftentimes they get here and it causes them to roll into those toes, and then they lift the lift forward. Okay, another thing that we see is they start way back. And once again, upon picking the bar up off the floor, especially once the load starts to get heavy, this ends up being their finished position where they're unable to get the shoulders back behind the bar. Okay, I hope that's helpful for you guys today. Give that a shot with, with regards to the weight distribution in the foot. Let's see some snatch PRs, guys. Have a good day.